boys and girls, my name is Miss Carly and I work at a place called the Paluxy River Children's Advocacy Center and our whole job is all about keeping kids safe. And one of the ways that we keep kids safe is we go to schools and talk to them about how to keep their body safe. And the very first thing that we teach kids is that you are the boss of your body. And if you're the boss of your body, you get to say what touches you are okay with and what touches you are not okay with. And for us, we like to use two signs to talk about what touches we're okay with and not okay with. And one of our signs is our thumbs up. So if you can put your thumbs up like this and say welcome touch. Now welcome touch is a touch you're okay with. That's why I put our thumbs up. And a welcome touch might be a high five or a handshake or maybe a fist bump or maybe even a hug with your mom or dad. But a welcome touch makes you feel safe and love and secure. Um, so if you like to get hugs from your mom or dad, that might be a welcome touch or a fist bump from your friend. Those are touches that you feel okay with. Now the other type of touch is an unwelcome touch. So I'll put your thumbs down like this and say unwelcome touch. Unwelcome means it's not okay with you. This might be a hit, a kick, or a punch. Um, or even it could be if somebody were to touch you in your private areas, which would be where your swimsuit touches. And unwelcome touches are touches that make you feel sad, scared, or confused. So if somebody were to hit you, you might feel scared or hurt. Um, or if somebody were to touch you in your private areas where your swimsuit touches, that would probably make you feel really confused and scared. So unwelcome touches are touches you're not okay with. Now, if you were to receive an unwelcome touch, maybe that's a hit, a kick, or somebody touching you in your private areas, there are three really important things you would do. First, you would say no. You would tell that person this is not okay with you and this is an unwelcome touch. The second thing you would do is you would move away. So you would move away from the person who's hurt you or touched you in a way that you're not okay with. And this means maybe just getting out of the room or getting out of the house, but this doesn't mean running away. It just means getting away from the danger. And the third really important thing is to go tell a trusted adult. And a trusted adult is somebody who would keep you safe. A trusted adult is not the person who is hurting you, but somebody who would come in and help you and make sure that this doesn't happen again to you. Um, but also a really important thing to know is if somebody were to give you an unwelcome touch, especially if it's a touch on your private areas, do not feel shame for, do, for that happening to you. That is not your fault if somebody touches you in that area. It is somebody making a poor choice. But remember, tell an adult if this happens to you and there is no shame. And also remember that you are the boss of your body and you can decide what touches are welcome and what touches are not welcome.